Hi, I'm George. I'm an actor. Now you may not know it, but on every actor's resume, there's a small spot set aside specifically for special skills. They can range from break dancing to rapier and dagger, from puppeteering to unicycle proficiency. Try and guess which one is not on my resume. Just give me a day or two, and I'll have it learned. This week on Sunday in Isolation with George, we'll be talking about Okay, so playing an instrument is probably the most popular and the most sought after special skill to have in the theater. Warning, be careful. Once you let anybody know that you play an instrument, sneaky casting directors will find creative ways to put your skills to work. Eric Stein. And if you show that you can learn a new skill quickly, they will start claiming that you can play something that you've never touched in your life, like the xylophone. Eric Stein. I play stringed instruments. Eric Stein. But you can bet your sweet baby I played the Paduke out of that mid-sized xylophone freshly ordered from Amazon. What I'm trying to say is don't be shy with your skills. Share it with your friends and they'll love it. And sooner or later, they'll want you to do it in one of their shows. And what you have to remember is to say thank you. Thank you, Eric Stein. So here are the instruments I know how to play. Guitar, banjo, mandolin, bazooki, dobro, balalaika, Ukulele, banjo ukulele, didgeridoo, hammer dulcimer, djembe, basic piano, cajon, diddly bow, cigar box guitar, bass, slide guitar, the lute, and the oud. 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 This is getting weird. Now, I learned most of these instruments because someone asked me to learn it for a show. And I learned all of them without really knowing how to read music. No way. Uh, yeah, yes way. Well, actually, I can read a little bit of music, but mostly for voice and very slow. I mean, like super slow, like super, super slow. How slow? Here are my suggestions on getting started. One, start with the guitar. It is the number one self-taught instrument in the world, and it is a gateway instrument into gaining knowledge of other stringed instruments. Yeah. To ask a friend to teach you the basics. When I taught guitar, I taught actors, and I knew that actors never stay in one place for very long, so I taught them how to teach themselves. And soon, they didn't need me. <laughs> and three, learn to read tablature. It's fast, easy, and you don't have to know how to read music. Also, choose the right guitar. A lot of people have trouble playing guitar because the strings hurt the fingers too much, or they think that their hands are too small. That means you have the wrong guitar. It doesn't have to be steel string. You can use a classical guitar, which has nylon strings. It's soft and easy on the fingers. And guitars come in different sizes. When I built this tenor guitar for my wife, Megan, I knew that she had smaller hands than I did, so I built it in three-quarter size. That means that it's three-quarters the size of a regular guitar. Now, once you've gained a better understanding of the guitar and how its tuning is structured, all the other stringed instruments should start to make sense to you. You just have to be open to seeing the similarities between their tunings. The ukulele and the guitar have the exact same tuning. You just take the low E and A string off and put a capo on the fifth fret. The same thing goes for the tenor ukulele. For the baritone ukulele, there is no capo. The same thing goes for the tenor guitar. For the bass guitar, you just take the B and E string off and they're the same, only an octave lower. The mandolin and the bass guitar are the same, but in a tricky way. Two octaves apart, tuned upside down and inverted. That means one is tuned in fourths and one in fifths. The chord and scale structure are the same, but in mirror image on the z-axis. The mandolin and the violin are exactly the same. The banjo is the same as the guitar and the ukulele, only you take the E and the A string off, tune the high E down to a D, and you add a second G string. That reminds me of my favorite banjo joke. Why do banjo players look so uncomfortable? I got two G strings on. And lastly, if you want to market yourself as an actor who plays an instrument, accompany yourself at an audition. So practice, 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 find a friend who plays, learn to teach yourself, gain the courage to venture off into other instruments, and fill that special skills section up. And remember, if it doesn't tell a story or move it forward, it probably isn't worth having it in the show. We'll see you next time on Sunday in Isolation with George. Yeah. <laughs>